sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors, standing water or high humidity, nasty odors, or dangerous mold. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. 14th, I'm Andrew Rosens, Bill Murray with your weather video, and today is the anniversary, 1969, Hurricane Camille formed in the Western Caribbean while the uh, reconnaissance plane was flying through the area. It went straight to Tropical Storm, was a hurricane the same day, um, and then, of course, we know what happened from there. We'll be kind of talking about the history of that hurricane um, on, the, on the blog over the next couple of days because it was a terror. Uh, last morning of any 60s over North Alabama for a while, uh, dryer moved into the state on Friday, much more comfortable, um, even though it was still the day, the overnight temperatures were a little more, uh, a little more refreshing. Um, nothing like October or November or anything, but, you know, we'll take it what we can get. Highest today across Alabama and the southeast will, um, uh, at least across Alabama, will be in the lower 90s for the most part. You might get an 89 up around Fort Payne, Scottsboro. Uh, go up to Mentone and enjoy some 80s. But everybody else, uh, back in the 90s today, and that's where we'll go again tomorrow. Uh, just nothing showing up on radar this afternoon. This is the uh, um, 4 or 5 p.m. today, and it'll look a lot like yesterday. Just a few showers over south Alabama. North and central Alabama should be dry. Uh, high temperature, or these are low temperatures for tonight off of the National Blend of Models. Uh, might see a 60, I, so I guess I'm eating my words already. Uh, 60s there, places like Coleman, maybe you know, around Smith Lake, everybody else in the 70s tonight. Uh, Monday, I think what we're going to see, we'll see a few showers show up over um, southern Tennessee tonight, um, probably after midnight. They'll drift down into North Alabama Monday morning. This is noon off the HRRR, showing almost nothing. So I think uh, very few showers. Uh, even though there there will be some rain chances on Monday, and I, I think there's a chance that could go up. This is the upper pattern across um, the United States. Uh, you know, right now, big ridge over the west. Uh, Going to be a really hot week, central valleys of California. You see the system moving into south Texas. Uh, that had some chances of tropical development. It just ran out of time. Um, we're sitting on the sea storm now. Danielle's next, but you'll see there's really no prospects over the next two weeks. Big trough over the eastern United States. Northwesterly flow bringing that drier air into Alabama. It's more the same for tomorrow. That trough will intensify in the mid-Atlantic, and um, that rainmaker uh, will be moving into uh, Old Mexico tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, you can see that trough is still there. Uh, Alabama getting even more of its influence. And by Thursday, um, another trough coming through the Midwest um, keeps us, this is Thursday and Friday, keeps us uh, in that same sort of uh, lowered pressures issue. Uh, and we're going to see rain as a result of it. Uh, day by day off the GFS, this is Tuesday afternoon. I think we've got some drier air in here uh, as that trough and that kind of a weak front moves through tomorrow. It could cause a shower for Monday. Probably no chances for Tuesday again. Um, we're back in the 90s on Monday. Probably upper 80s to low 90s on Tuesday. Um, and then as we get toward um, Wednesday, um, I think we're going to see more than the way showers and thunderstorms. Remember, the northwesterly flow, pretty strong for this time of year. Uh, can throw uh, what we call a mesoscale convective uh, system at us, uh, just a big complex of thunderstorms. If that happens, I think we'll have to think about severe weather on Wednesday. So nothing to worry about, but, um, you know, those things do sometimes produce uh, damaging winds for sure. This is Thursday. The um, trough is still there. We stay in, uh, we stay in rain chances uh, Friday more of the same, Saturday more of the same. Sunday more of the same. So you get the idea that we may see some rainfall um, over the latter parts of the week into the weekend. And that's not bad that some front gets through here early in the second week. That keeps us a little drier. Here's temperatures off the National Blend of Models. And you uh, can see we're 90s today, 90s tomorrow, probably 90s on Tuesday. But then we're in the 80s on Wednesday. And suddenly it looks like we're in September. Um, highs in the middle 80s, overnight lows 
in the upper 60s. So we'll take it. Let's weather video for this 14th of August. Um, if you get a chance, go back and listen to the Weather Brains this week or watch it on the Weather Brains YouTube channel. I promised you a good show and it over delivered this spectacular talk. Um, about the Lakeland High School Weather Club that uh, existed in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We had the teacher, Jim Witt, a bunch of the luminaries that came out of that program, um, kids that just loved the weather and, um, and, and had their interest stoked by this incredible leader. Um, and a lot of them went on to incredible jobs in meteorology. You'll love that show if you get a chance to go back and watch. We'll be talking to uh, naval oceanographers and meteorologists on Monday. That's going to be fascinating, too. Um, so you know, great guests on Weather Brains here lately and uh, a lot of great ones to come. Let's weather video for the 14th. I have notes on the blog. I'll update the forecast uh, later today. And, um, you know, we'll um, keep you updated on anything that changes uh, in Alabama's weather. But until I get to see you this time next Sunday from the National Weather Association, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors? Call Alabama Professional Services. Standing water or high humidity? Call APS. Nasty odors or dangerous mold? Call APS. Critters, bugs, or other pests? That's right, call APS. It's a fact, crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today, 205-926-1700.